So in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about how to book more calls on your calendar through the DMs and through your school community. So the old way is get into the DMs, figure out a problem, paint the gap, obviously find out where they're wanting to go, showcase that your solution or your service uh, can solve the gap and ultimately get them from where they are right now with the problems they're facing to the desired outcome. The problem with this is so many people are doing it and everybody now is so used to getting pitched in their DMs that the actual messages are just getting seen and then, you know, left ghosted as it's called. And it really becomes frustrating and more to the point, you're going to need to put more manpower effort into the actual outbound reach to be able to get any sort of conversation flowing. And this even goes for inbound DMs. Now, with inbound DMs, so you run a paid ad, you get your inbound or your organic traffic is bringing in inbound leads, they are semi-interested. So, so they're a bit warmer, they're not fully cold. Obviously, if you're outbound uh, reaching out to somebody, then that is full on cold and it's gonna be a much harder game, something that I just don't advocate doing at all. Um, the warm leads, you may get a bit of traction with, but then you start going into your questions, similar questions to probably, they've already had three or four times today already, so they get bored, they switch off, or they just know what's coming, so they, they move away. So how do we combat that? Well, for me, it all comes into your school community. When you build a community, people are not only um, seeing uh, the, the, the messages that you're sending, the DMs, the questions, when they're in your community, they are going through your free training content. They are seeing your posts and obviously you are posting as the authority in that group, the commander in that group. You're controlling the group. You're controlling what's going on. You are showing people that you have masterclasses coming up. You are um, you know, getting actively engaged in the group and you are in DM conversation with them from the start through your auto DM message. Now, here's how you book more calls, right? Reframe the call, uh, the outbound call reach in whether it's a warm lead, a cold lead or a hot lead from trying to pitch them something and trying to sell them something and give it away, okay? Give something free away uh, that is of huge value. So to give you an example, I switched up to um, just trying to get people onto an alignment call to be able to discuss my high ticket program. Um, even th these are people like warm leads, they've come through my funnel, so they've seen a paid ad, they've come into school, they've been nurtured, they're, I can see they're clicking around the content, I can see they're engaging, we reach out to them and we open a conversation. The problem is, like, people just don't wanna be pitched. So I was trying to get them on an alignment call and it just wasn't really bringing in the numbers that we needed. So I switched it up, okay? And I thought, what can I do? Well, how can I just actually focus on giving value? You know, Alex Hormozzi says this a lot. And I think, you know, if, if one thing that he has done incredibly well with is give stuff away for free, give your best stuff away for free and you will sell. And a lot of coaches struggle to get that into their, their minds because they're like, well, if I give it all away for free, then what are they going to buy? Well, in my world, I don't sell strategy. Yes, I've got a strategy. I've got the Instagram school funnel and it works and there's various elements to it. You paid ads, you've got your content, you've got you know the school community, the way you nurture it, the way that you squeeze sales out of it, so on and so forth, right? But that's not what I sell really. What I'm selling is personalization support to be able to implement the strategy. You can go and implement the strategy yourself. Just you know, go into my school community, uh, go to the classroom, watch the videos on on the Instagram School Funnel, and go go implement it, right? But you will get stuck, and it's when you get stuck, you then want to go to the source. You then want to go to someone who's already experienced the problems, who's already been stuck and overcome the problems. That's what I sell. I sell that close proximity, that personalization. So if I have to give the strategy away for free to get people into my world or give something of high value away free to get people to know more about what I can do, how I can help, what my expertise is, how my mind works, how I think about business, so on and so forth, then that's going to get me closer to my goal of working with, you know, a handful of dream clients at any given stage. So that's where I, I switched the focus up and went from this kind of alignment call to a free audit call. So I will audit your funnel. 
right? I'll have a look at your entire process from lead generation all the way through to sales. I'll find out where the bottlenecks are and I'll give you some actionable steps, right? No strings attached. I'll just give you the information that you want. 30 minute call. Typically I would charge like two and a half thousand dollars for a one off 30 minute call with, uh, you know, any clients that aren't in my inner circle and they just want that type of advice. I'm just going to give that away for free. So my call ratios like book, the booked ratios, like almost doubled, right? I would probably say close to trebled. So getting a lot more calls. Now, this is where you have to be careful with your time, okay? Because we're building a lifestyle coaching business. So I know I certainly am here. I'm building a lifestyle coaching business. So I don't just want to be on a load of calls that aren't a great fit. But then at the same time, I don't want to be promising something that I can't deliver because then I upset people and that's not what I want or I let people down. But the way you position the call. So if you think about the way I position it, my ideal client is somebody like seven to 12K monthly recurring revenue. They're looking to scale. They're having all of the typical business problems that you know you come across when you start your coaching business and they are probably stuck. They maybe have ran paid ads. It's not really working for them. Um, their income months are a bit inconsistent, so on and so forth, right? I'm not really going after the starter, the beginner, the someone just getting started, okay? If I offer a free funnel audit to go through your current lead generation and sales strategy, naturally, most people that are just starting, and this is true because I get it in the DMs when they get offered the call, is I'm just starting, I don't have a funnel. I'm just starting, I don't have a strategy, okay? So they know that that call is not for them. So the way that you position your um, free, free, free audit call or however it might, onboarding call, whatever you want to call it, right? If it's aligned with what your your dream client and in, in what they're trying to achieve and who that actually is, then I would say 60 to 70% of the people that are booking calls are a good fit, right? They are my dream clients. So I then give them 30 minutes of my time, like no strings attached. I'm not expecting anything from it at all, I don't pitch, I, the only thing I ask for is if they found huge value in the call, please just post back in the group that you had a great call with me and that's, that's the only thing that I ask, all right? The great thing is at the end of the call, because they've had so much value and they've had that time with me, there's a vast percentage of going, how do I work with you more? How do I, you know, how do we, how do we move forward? How do we um, get you to support our business going, going forward, you know, for the foreseeable, so on and so forth. That then opens the conversation. I haven't brought that to the table. And this is the magic, right? They are actually almost pre-sold on getting to that point. Now, there's a few things that go in play in between booking the initial audit call. There's a few videos that get dropped, so on and so forth. So they're already getting kind of pre-sold and that's kind of the magic behind the whole funnel. Um, but really when they're on that call, I go on the call just to give free advice and just do my best to help people. But at the end of it, a certain percentage turn around and say, we like what we've seen, we've liked what we've heard, can we move forward? And if you play the numbers game, then the numbers and you're tracking your data, then the numbers play out and it is worth your time invested. Now, there's a few things you have to be careful of. I mentioned before, getting the wrong people on the call. You do not just want to be banging your head against a brick wall, giving free advice out to the wrong people who are never going to step into your world. Okay, so you need to position your audit call or discovery call, whatever it might be, the right way. Okay, that's like kind of rule number one. Once you have that in mind, you can then go into your DMs and rather than opening the gap and painting the possibility and all that sort of stuff, you can actually just have a like genuine conversation, just like you've met at the pub, uh, find out a bit about them, find out a bit about their business without being too interrogating and then just offer this amazing thing. Be like, hey, how about you jump on a call for 30 minutes, I'm totally free to a two and a half thousand dollars, you can have it for free. By the end of it, you'll have some actionable items to take away. How does that sound? The chances of you booking more car calls, are, it's almost guaranteed that you're going to double or treble your call booking rate. And then on the back end of that, if you do correctly and you deliver the advice and ultimately you blow people away, there will be a certain percentage then step into your programs, high ticket, low, whatever you're selling. It does not matter at this stage. So, but it all has to come together. It's not just the DM script. It's not just some words that take people to where they want to be. It's the whole funnel pieced together. So it's like piecing it together from, you know, uh, getting them into school, nurturing them, getting them, giving them uh, access to 
a call for the right people, the right people then book the call, then it's positioning some videos which actually explain more about you and how you work and things like that before they even get on the call, then you get on the call and give them amazing advice and then a percentage will say, how can I work with you more? And that is how you will not only book, you know, three, five, ten sales calls a week with ease, or discovery calls, order calls, whatever you want to call them, don't call them sales calls by the way, but you will also increase the number of sales on the back end. So hope that's helped. Um, as always, if you do want to uh, work with me a bit closer, DM the word coach in school or on Instagram. We can have a little personalized chat about it. If you haven't booked your audit call, um, <laughs> you kind of know what uh, you're going to get on that call now after watching this, but it is purely just me giving you as much value as I possibly can. Um, with no strings attached, then go to school, click the start here, uh, post, and you'll be able to book your call um, and we can have a chat and you can take away whatever you need to take away from it. Um, and you will guarantee be able to implement the actionable advice and move your business forward, even if we don't work together. And that's not why I'm doing it anyway. So um, peace and love. Speak to you soon. Take care.